Hey everyone, it's up Breath Collectors here. We are opening up 2022 Topps Archives Baseball. This is a very fun set. You get two autographs in this. Has the years of 87, uh, 78, and 63. That's the design of these cards. I think last year I heard one guy was saying that they had like seven different designs from seven different years, which is very unusual. Archives usually has these three old years um that they uh you know mimic those years in these current modern day packs so these are the postcard um mm -hmm. i heard some guys talking about these today in store yeah, they really like these looking. um that one's kind of beat up but um i guess they have autographed versions of these sure. about one per case not the box stoppers though. i believe they're like the smaller version in the pack that oh, are autographed okay. about one a case yeah 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 um i had a guy tell me that today that came in so yeah these, so, so it's on the back yeah, the postcard. It's the postcard. Pretty cool. I like, and I, if, I I don't remember them doing box stoppers in archives before. They haven't, at least in the past yeah, few I years. I don't so. remember either. Um, but, so these run about 110 to like 120-ish, right? Uh, I've been seeing, like today I looked at, I think Blow has them at 125. 125, I okay. think for, from what I've seen, the kind of the going market rate, I haven't really seen them cheaper than 120 to 125 anywhere. Okay. Um, because yeah. people then, I mean, you're buying them, these boxes, you're paying wholesale like about a hundred to a hundred and nine dollars before sure. it, unless you have allocation, but non-allocated pricing is what you're getting it at. So yeah, I, I see, I saw one guy, I think. All right, sorry guys, we're back. We had a little microphone problem. We were just talking about the prices, about 120, 125, you know, maybe a little bit lower, but I think as the the set is, uh, you know, open, people are gonna see what's in here with the Julios, the Bobby Witts. Um, all the guys are in here, except for, I think, somebody was saying that um, uh, Strider's not in here and one other guy, but, but Pena, I think, is in here. Um, and all the different, uh, guys that you've been missing in the other sets are as rookies are now in this set and a chance of autographs in these. So there's a postcard. Yeah, right there's there. a postcard, Bieber and Giolito. I do like the 87s. Those are cool. Um, but yeah, it, fun set. I think that these will be 150 bucks, um, in about two weeks, uh, the way that they've been limited on release to shops like mine, uh, just from a distribution side, uh, like in terms of reorder, yeah. I think they're, they're, they don't make much of this and it's going to skyrocket pretty quickly. Um, so I'd get some now if you can, I think this set's pretty loaded. And there's a nice Wander, yeah, 87. 87 um, but if you look at, like, last year's pricing, it's basically the same as this year's. Yeah. And last year's rookies are, I mean, Alec Baum is about the only guy in that set that you would even want. Right, right. Um, yeah, because so. he's been playing well in the playoffs. The um, Typically with archives, this product does not really go down tons. Yep. Just because it doesn't seem like there's much of it that's made. I didn't like that there. I don't know why that's doing that, but we should yeah. be good. Uh, Turner, Madrigal, Rogers. Here's one of these Hank Aaron Award. It's pretty cool. Um, I believe that's from the 63 design. I'm not 100% sure, though. I think they Shipper may have McCoy. other years for the inserts, too. But... I don't know. I'm not sure. I know I've seen those cards, but these packs are very not fun to Hard open. To open. So you had some people in shops say they have uh, watched some case breaks of this. I said they, it was pretty loaded. Yeah, they liked it. Yep. Mueller... Bassett, O'Neill, a Jeter, a Jeter card, sweet. Cardinals win seventeenth straight. It's pretty sweet. Um, Nick Lodolo and Bryce Elder. So archives, you're not going to get a lot of color, not a lot of numbered nope. stuff. Nope. Um, you just generally don't get much of that. Um, it just doesn't really happen. Um, so usually you're chasing the autographs which sometimes can be pretty mid as well yeah uh, definitely a is. lot of the autographs in here are like fan favorite guys from year yesteryears uh, so guys that maybe i would know back in the 80s yeah, it's um, not and, even a lot of times it's just like it's not even 80s it's no. guys from like the late 90s early 2000s that yeah. are kind of mm. i mean some of them i have even trouble oh that's, that's a actually, good that's one not bad. Yeah, yeah, goose gossage that's yeah. pretty cool uh, fan favorite, and that is the 72 tops design, I believe. But that's an 80s guy right there. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Now, that a lot of people are hoping the Dodgers and Yankees will square off in the World Series. Yeah. And back in the day, that was the uh, rivalry, the Dodgers and, and Yankees. Um, yeah. Mm. Yeah. I'd like to see the Mariners. So did that's the Mariners cool win today? I don't know. I didn't look. 
Yeah. Should have been watching it, but we didn't. So that's J.P. Crawford, Hank Aaron, MJ Melendez, Major League debut. That's like 90 tops, I believe, or 91 tops. Um, Cabrian Hayes and Luis Garcia. I like the 87 design, but I kind of wish they would do something different. I feel like 87's been... Like, like every top every set for the tops. past five yeah, years. That card's set. sweet. I like that. That Miggy. That Miggy, yep. Uh, 63 tops. I don't know. I'm not like a vintage expert by any means, but 63 tops, like just from what I've seen, I've seen, I've had a lot of vintage come into my store, and I have not had hardly any 63 tops ever come in. I hardly ever have it come to grading. I don't know if I ever have. Um... And so it's something where I think they made a lot less of 63 tops, but it's a very, very cool looking design. Like that Jackie's really yeah, cool. Yeah, comment below what your knowledge is on the 63 set. Um, and cool. is it like super popular? Is it unpopular? Is it hard to find? I know it's popular because I know the singles sell well. But... Yeah. All right, here we go. Next pack. Andre Dawson, Nick Allen. Have yet to see. We got the Wander. Um, there's a Bruhan. Babe Ruth, Insert. Lou Brock, and Kettle Marte, but I've yet to see a Julio or a uh, Wet or any of those guys. Yeah, I, I want to say the Julio card I saw was a uh, 78 design. I could be wrong, though, on that. I think it was. Thomas Wagner, Jorge Soler, MVP, Bichette, and Martinez. And the last pack from my half here. Let's see, we've got Joey Votto. Hoy Park rookie, Matt Manning rookie, A-Rod on the Rangers, interesting, Stan Musial, and oh, that's, that's really cool. cool. And so that's what he was saying, that these, you get an autograph yeah. about one per case of these. And they're um, like on trout. card? Yeah, that I believe so. Really yeah, cool. I mean, that would be sick. Yeah. Uh, very, very cool. Satchel Page and Edgar Martinez. In my opinion, that is a very cool looking insert. Like the, I love how they did the back of them too. Yeah, like it's cool. just, just like really cool look. Really clean. Yeah. I like it. So... You know, this set is definitely not going to appeal to a lot of collectors because there's not a lot of shiny in here. There's not a lot of um, parallels. Uh, but it is one of those sets where people do like the, um, you know, old look to the cards and the modern players in there as well as the mix with the... It's a set collector set. Yeah, it's a set collector set. And, like, this brings me back uh, to 78. So, um, as a kid... I collected 78. That just shows Run. how old I... Oh, who is that? Runs not the wrong... Contrary. Not the right guy. For a second, I was like, that's not O'Neill Cruz, but uh, mm. Contreras. All right. This is going to be numbered, though, to yeah. 99. So you that's pretty cool. Rowans. Rowans yeah. and Contreras was one of those guys this year. That's he's like all over. Yeah. yeah. He's all over the place. Cronworth. Cronworth had a big home run in the Dodgers-Padres uh, game yesterday. Yeah. Padres won that one. That was cool. What, 6-3 or 5-3 or something like that? I watched that uh, maybe it was. It, it was like a by a run or two, I think. 5-3, 6-3, three, three, something like that. There he is, Alan Trammell. That's sweet. That's pretty cool. Soto. Yeah, we still have not yet hit any of the big um, name rookies draft pick. Um, Lewis Astros won the name. Mariners did not win. Yeah. Darn. There's an O'Neill Cruz. All right, so O'Neill Cruz, yeah. Bogarts, and Tucker. Cal Tucker. Yeah, so Astros won again. Yeah. Then we'll have, uh, for some upcoming videos, we've got a Topps Chrome light box and a Prism Quick Fix box to do in the next couple of videos. Here. So see yeah, so we'll, yeah, we'll have a bunch of stuff. And if you're interested in a group break, a lot of people have been asking for them. Um, I have one posted, upnorthcollectors.com, a uh, football mixer with some NT, uh, some national treasures. So check that out. Should be a lot of fun. I'm going to break that tomorrow on Friday night. So check that one out. So, yeah, if you're in the mood for a football break, go check it out. A lot of fun to get in those. And these packs are definitely... Not easy. There's no place to, like, yeah, grip. grip. Yeah. I give them a seven on the opening. Seven. Uh, Schmidt's cool. Uh, yeah, that's Schmidt's cool. Uh, Garrett Cole. Yeah, so 78, 79. Um, I bought packs as a that's kid. A cool yeah, that is cool. The return. Uh, Mancini. So that's one Mancini came back from cancer, so that's pretty sweet. And, yeah, too bad, of course, he is on the Astros now, but... Um, let's see if we can open up this pack. I'm going to start cutting these for you. Hey, I, I... So far, I've only had trouble on these two packs. You had trouble early. I mean, usually it's me who has all the trouble, and you are... Um, no, I'll give it to you. 
the one that doesn't have as much trouble. No, it looks like a green. Looks like an 87. Hopefully, Ray's Ray's Wander. Wander. Oh, Ooh, there we go. That's not, that's not bad. This is going to be, what, 99? 99. No, 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 not in the set. 125. 125. That's pretty cool. Still pretty good. Wander stuff's tanked, but still Yeah, cool. it has. I mean, he did not. Oh, there's a Pena right there. Yep. Um, He did not perform well, obviously, when he came back from his injury and in the playoffs. The couple of games that the Rays had, he didn't really do all that much. Might be so, a good time if you're still a big wander believer to pick up some wander stuff. Yeah, you've seen this. You've seen this play out many times in the major leagues. Yep. Um, remember Otani? Everybody's like, "Oh, yeah, yeah Tommy John. Tommy. Oh, he's horrible. He's never going to come back. He's a he's a joke." And then, yeah. Yep. And also, so, just be careful with what you're buying, just because of the way the card market is, the yes. economy is. But I don't think if you're smart about it, it's the worst time to buy a wander Franco currently. Yeah, it, yeah, you can uh, definitely, if you're a believer in him, you even maybe wait a little longer because his prices still may drop. And, uh, ooh, we got something really shiny back there. Yeah, some kind of like foil thing. Um, That'd be cool. Ramilto. It's like an 87 with a foil. That's Verdugo. And 87. Yeah. No, Luis no, Garcia. Garcia. Sweet looking, though. One of what was this number to 50? That was pretty sweet. I like those. Yeah, that is cool. I dig it. Yeah, I like it. It's ni nice. Uh, yeah, it's a Cal Raleigh, another one of the. Though. Or O'Neill Cruz. <clears throat> yeah, well, we did get an O'Neill Cruz. Oh, never mind. We did. did yep, we? yep. We did get a base, 87 oh, base. Okay. Yep. Now the trick is opening up these packs. Yeah, seriously, they are difficult. So yeah, I mean, I saw the Julios are selling for I don't know 10 to 15 bucks yeah, somewhere there. No, I agree them honestly. I would. Yeah. I would send them off for 18 bucks to SEC or PSA. There's a saying. Suzuki. Um, I'd send them off to either of those places because the base archives rookies down the road. Like I sold some judge archives rookies last this this yeah. year, and there's they're like a couple hundred bucks in a ten. So it's something that you know I'd at least think about, especially with Julio and Witt. I don't know about yep. any of the other guys, but those two for sure, I'd be like, hmm, maybe specifically Julio. Yeah, I mean, Julio looks like the real deal for sure. I mean, Bobby Witt definitely did not have a bad season, but was not nearly as good as uh, yeah, Julio. Correct. Yeah. I mean, he had 20 home runs, so yeah. nothing to sneeze yeah, at. Yeah, exactly. They said he's like one of the statistically the worst infielders, though. Yeah, I know. So I you can work on that, though. As yeah. a... Well, I'm saying that he's going to transition to the outfield eventually, is what yeah. I'm saying. So. I mean, Raphael Devers was. He's still not He's still that stinks. great at third base, but he was a lot worse yeah. um, a few years ago. That dude gets no love. I almost bought a Bowman first auto of him yesterday. I lost it at, a, at an auction. It was a BGS 9510, which is like, I mean, that's like still the Bowman card. Like, you know, it's that or a PSA 10 Bowman. That's interesting. Uh, but they went for like 150 bucks, I think. It was like stupid cheap. So one of the postcards, yeah, that, yeah, he, yeah, he's definitely not a guy that everybody's going after. And if you watch him play, he's, <laughs> he's at his numbers. He's legit. He's one of the better players in baseball for sure. And he loves the spotlight. He's one of those guys you want to be batting for you when there's runners in scoring position and the game's on the line. Hunter Green in the 78 design. Still want to see that Julio. So last pack here. Julio. So we haven't done bad on the rookies. We just haven't got yeah, nothing wild though. The two big name, but we did go get that one nice parallel wander. So that's yeah, pretty cool. Play. Pretty good box. I'd say overall not bad. I mean, the, once again, the autographs can be very tough in here. There's a Tony Gwen. That's cool. Let's see Julio. No, Sean Murphy. And Nelson Cruz, Frank Thomas, and Johnny Bench. So, fun set overall. I would say at this price point, definitely worth opening a box if you, you know, like this product. Buy it now. I'm telling you, buy it now because this stuff will go up. I guarantee it. Well, the, Just the one thing that's definitely in its favor is the checklist it, are the on-card autographs. And no real big releases coming out for another what, That's couple what I'm saying. weeks. Just, just buy it, yeah. buy it now, and well, it's still cheap because it's going to go up, for, for sure. Yeah, and even if it doesn't, it's not going to go down. No, but most it's likely. going to go up. Yeah. I, I'm telling you, it's going up. So. Oh, and another thing too is, um, when retail comes out in the past, sometimes retail has been really good in the set, and sometimes it's been horrible. So just. 
Don't I wouldn't go hog wild on it until you know kind of what's in it. Usually, it's pretty trashy. Generally, yeah. in the past, though, you could pull some nice autographs out of there. But yeah, just be careful. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Please leave your comments below. Let us know what you think of this product. Also, hit that thumbs up button uh, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet already. We greatly appreciate it. More videos coming your way of baseball and other sports. So stay tuned. Have fun, guys, and take care.